Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here. We're gonna make something trim and healthy, so have no fear. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to my kitchen. Just making some coffee to go with our special treat today. I am beyond excited to share with you. This is not my recipe. This is from a dear sweet sister, Coach Molly Miller came up with this recipe and I am excited to share it with you guys. But first, if you're joining me from YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate your love and support and thank you for joining me if you are in my Simply Cooking group. I'm so glad you're here. Be sure to say hi so I can say hi to you. Today, we are going to be doing Give Me a Break. Give me a break, 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 break me break, off a piece break, of that Kit Kat bar. I had to train them to do that. They had never heard of that song, you guys. They looked at me, I was like singing it, and they're like, I got nothing, Mom. What is this song? So, you didn't know, you didn't know. Here we are. We are going to learn how to make the Kit Kat bar, and it is so easy. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. You guys haven't made Rashida's creamer? You need to do that, so good. Okay, I'm sure that many of you, hey Debbie, how are you? I am sure many of you have, I'm guessing, this is totally me guessing, a bunch of Wassa crackers in the back of the pantry. Like, what do I do with these? Maybe you're sick and tired of putting the deli meat in the light laughing cow cheese. There's an idea for you if you haven't done it and you don't know what to do with your wasta crackers. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to use the entire package, the entire package. We are going to make the world's biggest trim and healthy Kit Kat bar. Should we do that now? So we're gonna start with our wasta crackers. Again, we have to give a huge thank you to Coach Molly Miller for coming up with this amazing recipe. I will link everything in the description for you guys when we're done. Oh yes, we're gonna actually, we're gonna start. I'm gonna show you guys, if you haven't seen my other videos, I wanna make sure you guys know that I love, love, love to use my Wilton chocolate melter. So we're gonna start melting the chocolate so that gets going. Um, I also, this is great for my dairy-free mamas. This is the one I use because it has no fillers, no junk. Is this upside down? This one, do you wanna help her, honey? Do you wanna help her? Thank you. I got all my kids in the kitchen with me. Uh, this is the Whole Foods 365 brand chocolate. It is sugar-free, it is amazing, it has no fillers. It's okay, honey, it's okay, he wants to say hi. And it is made from cocoa butter, cocoa butter. So we're gonna just go ahead and melt the chocolate. Do you wanna measure that out though? Let me get you. I don't want to. Do, um, Oops, not that. Do, do, do. I want to measure it out. Grab one here. I want to grab a that one kind of got stuff in it. Chocolate. Okay. Chocolate. 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 Do um this and then Chocolate. another half of those. Okay. All right. So she's gonna start melting the chocolate. I like this. If you follow the recipe, you can do it in the microwave. So be sure to follow the directions when I link the recipe for you guys in the description. If you do the microwave method, um, otherwise. I'm pretty sure you can Amazon Prime yourself one of these in two days and you will be so happy. It is a huge blessing to my kitchen to have this for all my Trim Healthy Mama treats. So that's just a recommendation. Okay, now what I do is I am going to start with a cookie sheet and I put my silicone liner on here. If you don't have one, that's okay. You can use parchment paper. I have just tried to get away from using so much parchment paper. And so I'm using my silicone liner for this. And we're just gonna whip open. Okay, I learned something. I learned something, so I'm gonna share what I learned. This one? Yes, perfect. And Thank you, honey. Yes. Perfect. You got we that use the whole pack. That's okay. That's all right. We love chocolate around here. We're big chocolate fans. Okay, I'm this is what I learned. Fan. Oh, he's not. He doesn't like chocolate. Well, I'm more a, for me. I'm an ice cream fan. Oh, you're an ice cream fan? Good thing we can make some healthy ice cream, too. Okay, so make sure, you guys, I'm going to show you. I think we're going to need more than this. We'll see how it goes. But get the light ride. Get the light ride because the um, multigrain are actually meant for ease. 
and you can these are considered um, fuel pole you can have two of them and then these ones are better in an S setting so yes, you can have this because this is going to be an S. You just wanna make sure that you watch your portion size. And doing this giant one is actually a serving size of 40. So please keep that in mind when you're cutting it that it's for 40 servings. So keep that in mind. All right, so get the light rye and you will save yourself from accidentally having a crossover. I did not realize what I was getting here when I picked up all these. I got both, I got both. I was like, why not? So I'll use those for an E. Okay, so can you guys even see my, I wanna move this back just a smidgen here and go like that. Is that better? Yes, okay. I, this is so easy, you guys, so easy. We're just going to line the bottom of the cookie sheet with our Wasa crackers. I really hope you guys go make this. It's hope you guys have all this stuff in your pantry. It's really nothing. Um, I don't think there's anything super strange that you shouldn't have. All right, is that right? I feel like did I go all the way here? Okay. Now, this last little piece, I do go all the way to the edge, so I just break one in half. It doesn't usually come out perfect, but, well, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. So I'm gonna do that, maybe. Maybe. This takes so many Wasa crackers. See, you're gonna use up those from your pantry. You'll be happy you did. Okay. I'm making a mess. I'm making it look challenging. It's really not that hard. Okay, there we go. We'll call that, we'll call that good. Now, do you wanna get a bag? I forgot to grab a Ziploc bag. Will you grab one, like the yeah. big one? And you can even crush these up. I'm gonna have her take the Wasa crackers that go into the peanut sauce, and I'm just gonna have her break these up. So these are gonna go inside. Let's see. All right, we'll do this. Do you have that? Okay, so she, this is fun for the kids. Have the kids help you. Okay, so she is going to break these up. Where? While I, do you wanna just do it right there? She's gonna break those up for the peanut mixture. This stuff is wicked good, you guys. I could eat it by itself. So if you want to do the dairy-free version, I mentioned that I would talk about doing a dairy-free option instead of butter. Now remember, I'm making a double, a double of this entire recipe. Um, so I'm gonna use all of my butter here, the whole thing. Um, you can use coconut oil in place of the butter. And if you want to be super fancy, you can get the fun coconut oil that is butter flavored and use that in place of the butter. Now, oh my goodness, you guys. So I normally get the peanut butter from Costco, but for some reason, um, Will you crush those up just a tiny bit more? I normally get the peanut butter from Costco, but for some reason they've been out of it. And so I picked up this mixed nut butter. If you guys have not seen this at Costco, it is crazy delicious. So if you can go get some of this for this recipe, it's gonna blow your mind, blow your mind. It's that good. So I'm gonna measure this out and Let's see, what do we need here? Okay. We are going to melt these two together. Is this good? That is good. Do you wanna keep, just keep it right there for me, honey. I gotta mix these together. So we are gonna put this in. What do you mix? Two, two, two. This stuff, okay, can I tell you what's in this too while we're, I'll tell you while it's microwaving. So we're gonna throw this in the microwave. Okay, it's okay if it sits there for a minute, Lily, because I don't want it to like over melt. I made a goof last night, you guys. I wanted to make one more trial run so I could show you guys how to cut it. I'm gonna tell you when we get there, but I did something Willy Wonka with, um, <laughs> the Lily's chocolate. Okay, so in the microwave, this is gonna go into the microwave. So I want this completely melted and I store my butter. Here's a tip for you guys. 
I love Kerrygold butter. I am like a total butter snob. Sorry, I just love it. It's so good. It's grass-fed butter. I get it from Costco. Usually, I cannot make any promises or guarantees, but they have like a Black Friday, you know those like Costco booklets? They have like a Black Friday one, and a lot of the times, the butter is like $4 off for one of the things because they're very expensive, and I will buy like a year supply and put it in my freezer, and this is one from last year, and I'm so close to being out, and I'm like, oh, I timed it really well, so I hope, I hope, crossing my fingers, that they will have the butter on sale again and I can do the same thing. So there's a tip for you, store your butter in the freezer, totally works. Okay, now, you are going to need, let's see what else we're gonna get out here. Um, we're gonna do some peanut flour. Do I have my other, oh, here we go. Let's see if this is melted enough. Uh, it might be, let's check it, let's check it. Okay. I'm debating if I want to melt that more. Do I or don't I? I think it's pretty good. I think we can go with this. So you just want to mix the butter and your peanut butter of choice together. Then going to add some peanut flour. And another reason I love this recipe, you know me, I love any recipe that you can just dump everything together. And this is just one of those. So. Thank you, Molly, for making it simple. Okay, you know what we're gonna need? I forgot some almond milk. Do you wanna get that? Oh my goodness, see, this bag, normally, I don't do it this way. This is like a, I'm setting a terrible example for you guys. Should put a spoon in there. Do as I say, not as I do. Isn't that what mothers do? Shame on us. <laughs> okay, nope, I need a little bit more. Okay, oh! And that is why. You see that? I'm Here's spilling it everywhere. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You wanted to be covered in peanut flour. No, I didn't. And she goes, No, I didn't, Mom. No, I didn't. Okay, now we are going to add gentle sweet. This is really important. I personally use the um, gentle sweet. Sorry, I had to grab a different measuring utensil. Oh, I got that sad. one all dirty. I use the gentle sweet that is xylitol free. It is my favorite one. It tastes exactly the same, you guys. And you don't have to worry about your furry friends getting a hold of your Kit Kat bars. That would be terrible. So, okay. You want to mix that in? Ta-da! Oh, I'm almost there. I advise using a spoon or a smaller, smaller utensil. Okay. Now, we are going to add, is that it? No, no, no. Oh, you know what we need to add to this? Do you want to get your, um, here, I'll keep stirring. Do you want to get the crackers? Mama. Yeah. Do you, do you like Kit Kat bars? No. No. He's I, never tried them. Nope. He doesn't like them. Hey, Tay, no, would it. you try it if I tried it? Ah. <laughs> it's okay. Well, He's my picky guy. All right, go ahead and pour those in. Mom, look. So, hold on one second. I want to make sure I have everything in here. I think this is it. This is it, you guys. So easy. So easy, so easy. Okay, perfect. I love it. Now, after you get this all mixed together, all we're gonna do is put this on top of our Wasa crackers. So, and then I'm gonna teach you guys a, tr uh, a little tip that Mom, Molly it's shared. It's done, okay. Keep it, you okay, turn it down. We're gonna turn this down to medium so it doesn't burn. You wanna make sure if you melt your chocolate too fast, this is what I learned the other day. Um, turn it down or it's gonna burn. You do not want burnt chocolate, it is not good. It is not good. Okay, so then all you're gonna do is spread this across your Wasa crackers. And by the way, sample, you should always sample your work, right? Sample your um, mixture because I think that is gonna blow your mind in and of itself because it's so delicious. All right, that is easy peasy. Now we will spread this around. Okay, good. Hi, Cappy. 
Who else is watching? If you said hi earlier, sorry, they go across my screen and I can't see everything. So I'll be sure to answer any questions you guys have too. Just let me know if you have any questions as we go along here. Okay, now this next step, you can... Molly shared her tips. Thank you, Molly, for sharing your tips with me. I appreciate it and these lovely ladies watching. Okay, if you want to omit the second layer of Wasta crackers, you can do that. But I really find that second layer makes it just more like a Kit Kat. It just makes it more like a Kit Kat. So um, the tip is that if you try to just stick them on top of this, for some reason, it does not want to stick to the peanut butter mixture. So in order to make it work, you just, did you grab the um, almond milk, honey? Did you grab that? All you do is put a little almond milk. She's gonna grab some almond milk for me. Okay, I'll have some coffee while she's grabbing the almond milk. You've always wanted to make this? I hope that this is showing you how easy it is, Kathy. Hey, Carissa. Uh, you wanna make these too? Yes, 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 please make these. Okay, so all you wanna do is put just a little bit of almond milk on a plate. I know, that's kinda weird, right? But look, this is so fun. Then you're gonna take your crackers and dip them into the almond milk, all right? And then just put it on top. So I'm going to back this up just a smidgen. So I'm going to do that as I put the second layer. Da -da -da. I feel like we need some music here. Oh, Paw Patrol. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> going. Look how, oh, this looks so good. This looks so good. <coughs> Ta-da. We're almost done. Almost done. Then we're going to take, do you want to stir that chocolate and make sure we're ready to go with that chocolate? As soon as we put the chocolate on. Okay, I got all my assistants with me today. You guys have, oh, okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, then, oh, I almost, oh, this is so close to perfect. Perfect, okay, so that was literally, I've got this left. This is like a half of a one. Let's see if I can make that work. Of the entire package, I'm just gonna do that. I feel like I wanna add, okay, I'm gonna break into my, I already have a multi-green one open, so I'm just gonna use, there's just a tiny little piece not covered. This is my very type A personality coming out. I'm like, I have to cover it. I must cover it. Okay. Put that on there. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. Now let me show you guys. Okay. Do, do, do. All right. So you see? It smells like lots That's of it. Crackers. So it looks like this. Now we are going to add. Oops. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Sorry. Our chocolate. We're going to add our chocolate. Okay. Are we ready? So our chocolate has been melted. Man, I'm getting peanut butter sauce everywhere. Then after I put this on, will you go rinse this with hot water? Do you wanna get the hot water going? Cause I wanna put the other chocolate in here to yeah. show them that one. Okay. So I'm just gonna, this has a little pour spout on it. So I'm just going to kind of drizzle it across the top. And do we have that uh, blue silicone spatula? I really like that one for Spreading the, I think it's over there, no, honey. That's mine. Oh, it is? That one's yours? Oh, I love it. It's very nice. Wait, the light blue or dark blue? Um, it's over there. Do you see it? Okay. Oh, it's light blue. Can you tell? We, we made a few batches of these. And they freeze so good, you guys. So you can make this this weekend. Get yourself prepped for the holidays coming up, there's no reason for you to go off plan when you can make stuff like this. I don't wanna see anybody deep dumpster diving. Well, I hope you're not dumpster diving, but you know, deep binge 
diving into your so kids' Halloween, Halloween, Halloween buckets. Soon as there'll be Halloween. Yeah. What are you going to be? A robot? Yeah. A Team Healthy Mama robot? Yeah. Did you show them your robot last time? Yeah. That was so cute. Okay, so all you do is spread this on like a so. And the nice thing I like about this is I feel like the chocolate layer is the perfect consistency. So you kind of do. You, you have to do it with hot water. Will you help her, Lily? Thanks, Okay. So once we get this spread. He says it all. Isn't he adorable? Can you tell he lives with a coach? <laughs> we might talk about Termothy Mama stuff a lot. Hey, Lily, will you let the dog out? This is my real life, guys. Dogs, kids. I mean, let's face it. I, I bet your lives are like this, too. If not, then your lives are way more organized than mine. It's a little bit chaos here. Chaos all the time. Loud. And we love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. I have six. I have six kids. So these recipes also don't go very far when you have a big family. And um, they were already trying to eat all the ones I made from yesterday. And I was like, No, you can't eat them. I have to show my friends. So you get to see them. But I'm telling you, my kids will be devouring these no, after. We have food okay, look at that. Isn't this just beautiful? Okay. Can I just tell you this is therapeutic? If you're leaving something therapeutic to do, there's just it's so relaxing. Don't do this when you're in a hurry. It doesn't take long, but don't do this when you're in a hurry because there's like some sort of therapy going on here. I don't know. Just like spreading my chocolate. This is food is art. Food is art, you guys. Look at this. Use your hands then. What's wrong? Okay, I'll come do it. Just give me one second, honey. Will you put it in hot water? Will you just put it in hot water? It was hot water. It's okay. It's okay. Just put it in hot water for me and I'll come do it. They're trying. They're trying. All right. That looks good. Now, I, okay. Do you see this? Now, if you're going to do the next layer, I'm going to, uh, we're going to do the, I want to talk about this for a second. Okay. If you guys did not know, um, it was just announced that a lot of the Lily's chocolates have dextrin in them. So those ones are considered personal choice, personal choice. So if you don't want a personal choice item, just skip this and you can do the chocolate that I suggested, the um, 365 brand. And if you're dairy free, you will not want to use the white chocolate chips. You'll just want to use this and that will keep you dairy free. It's that simple. Okay. So we're going to use just a couple of these. It's going to give it that zigzag color. Any luck over there? Okay, let me see if I can help her out. She is wanting to get this rinsed out. Okay. Give me one second, guys. I want to put this in my chocolate melter and show you how to melt this white chocolate. Okay, Lily. You're very mm -hmm. cute. So normally I don't melt like back-to-back -back chocolate. So if you do, you'll have to wash it in between um, before doing it. Now, I learned this last night. I told you guys I would tell you what I learned. And uh, I tend, this is my tendency because I've got many, many, many distractions as you guys can see. Um, I, do you want to put that in? I put my white chocolate chips in and then I let them sit there and just keep sitting there and eventually they they sort of coagulated i'm not even sure because i don't typically buy these um chips very often uh, i would put the whole thing in yeah so 
Anyways, they coagulated. So my whole point is watch them closely so they don't do that. I tried. Hey, one second, buddy. One second. Can we put our whisper voice on? What you screw that I in me? Just one second. It was like kind of, oh, I got chocolate on me. It was like a clump. Okay, so then um, I tried to salvage it by, I got like this weird thing on here. Okay, there we go. I tried to salvage it by um, putting it, okay, now the lighting got weird. That was weird. <laughs> Some weird things happened oh, there we go. She has to get like Is it better? Is it better? Okay. Yeah, it I tried to salvage it in the microwave and it that does got, not work. It got burnt. It was brown. <laughs> will, you go, will you take her out and yeah, cuddle her? Yeah, All right, so yeah, while yeah, that yeah, is yeah. melting, Tatum, what you're gonna do? Tatum, Tatum, Tatum. Hey Tatum, would you go see if um, you can find me a treasure? Yeah. I, will you you want to get your Paw Patrol coloring treasure? Okay. So you're gonna take this after. I'm gonna save this to show you guys how to do the chocolate. And our lighting just got so weird in here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna save this, so we're gonna just put this back here. But it's gonna go in the freezer. I, yeah. Oh, there. That was so weird. I don't like when the lighting gets weird. Uh, it's gonna go in the freezer. Then you pull it out. These are amazing frozen. Mom. They're amazing. But you do want them to go in the freezer for like 15 minutes. Then you're gonna pull them out if you're using silicone. Don't cut them on the silicone. Don't cut them on the silicone. You're gonna want to pull them off and no. Oh. Let me see. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I think that, okay, I'm gonna grab it over here. Wow, sorry guys, I would, thought I was prepared and then I realized how I'm half prepared. That's okay. So I am going to take this. Now this was in the freezer. I wanna show it to you guys. Now I did not put white chocolate on this because remember it coagulated. So this one is just plain and that's fine. So if you were doing a dairy free one, this is what yours would look like, but look, Remember the bar I showed you? This is it. This is, I mean, seriously, like, this reminds me of if you go to, like, um, like the Hershey store and stuff like that, and they have those giant chocolate bars that are insanely crazy big. And here's one that's trim and healthy. Come on, this is amazing. I'm, like, so excited about this. Now, all you need to do is put it on your cookie sheet, and, oh, be really careful with that, please. Okay. You're going to cut this. Now, if you want it, you can cut it however you want. I feel, okay, the lighting, there it went. Okay, so weird. Okay, you can cut this in whatever shape you want, but I'm gonna try to cut it as closely to possible as a Kit Kat. So, make sure if you freeze it for a long time, you'll have to let it thaw for a little bit, but then we're just gonna cut it. I do. Now, some of them do break, and that's okay, but for the most part, I'm gonna try to show it to you guys. That one looks pretty good. How's that, is that melting? Okay, I think it needs a couple more stirs. So, uh, I know, I'm making this look harder than it is. I did pull this out of the freezer not that long ago. So it's been um, in my deep freeze too, so it gets very cold in there. Very cold. So maybe don't freeze it as long. Okay, then once you, I'm not gonna sit here and cut the whole thing because we'll be here all day. Not really, we won't be here all day, but long enough. And I wanna honor your time. So I'm gonna just put this one back over here and give you guys an idea. Okay, that's done. Okay, I probably should get on that quickly then. Don't turn it down. Yes, turn it down to medium. So then cut them like this. Look at this. So I really do like it with that second layer. I think it tastes it's spot on to a Kit Kat bar. And it's got the nice chocolate. So these are the ones that I made with the chocolate. This is what they look like. They're perfect. They're perfect little bite size. And hey, um, will you go let the dog in for me, honey? Thank you, sweetheart. He's gonna start crying. Sorry, now my dog's crying. <laughs> oh, my dog cries when he wants his way. So now these are perfect for um, eating just like this right out of the freezer and enjoying them. Um, if you're gonna have it with your S meal, I would recommend just having like one 
like this. Oh, and if you're gonna have one for an afternoon snack, I just have like a couple of them. So good, it's a great option, but I rather, okay. My brand newbies, brand newbies to Trim Healthy Mama. I much rather see you eat a plate of those than go eat your kids' Kit Kat bars. Stay away from those, you don't need them. Go make this, go make this, please, please, please. Okay, so you guys got the idea. Now this is chocolate, so I'm gonna come back and just show you really quick how to put the chocolate on. If you wanna be super fancy, I have shared some tips in my previous videos with you guys that show you how to pipe on your chocolate with a bag, a Ziploc bag, and some uh, tips. So you are always welcome if you want to do something like that. Um, if you want simple, is it not? Yeah, it kind of melts weird. This Lily's chocolate does not melt the same, so I think not all chocolate is created equal. Um, but all you do, I'm just gonna grab some of this. You I'm take a fork. Preschool. I'm in preschool. You're in preschool? So all you do is take a fork, hey, hey, the and then cat. you're just gonna put it on however you want. I mean, you can be crazy. Hey. You can, ha whatever you wanna do. So if you no, want no. it to be a super, super, um, I'm gonna do this one. If you want it to be super designed, um, I would use like a tip, but otherwise just using a fork and kind of spreading it around is fun. And then this is gonna go into the freezer. Into the freezer. What is it? Look at the dog. Oh no, what? he's all wet. Oh, the dog's all wet. Is it wet outside? He has, oh, he has food on his back? Oh my goodness. The animals around here. See, we don't want him to accidentally get, we love our pets, so we don't wanna have them get uh, anything, anything with xylitol. Well, he has food on him a lot. He was my trim healthy doggy once. Once. Yeah, this is family. He eats too much. Um, so you guys get the idea. You can get as creative with this as you want to. And then after this, so I would not cut this now. You want it to firm up before you cut it, okay? Do you guys want to taste it? I do. Do you want to taste it? You do? Yeah. Okay, do you want to taste this? Yeah. All right, give it a sample and tell our friends how it is. Have you tried one? You haven't tried one yet? Okay. All right, here you go. Do you want one? Go ahead. You're not even on the camera, you silly goose. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope that was super helpful for you guys. Remember, this is doubled when I link the recipe for you guys. This is a doubled recipe. Please be sure to say thank you to Coach Molly Miller for this amazing recipe. I will put everything in the description for you. Don't forget that if you're watching oh, yes, from yes, YouTube, you can like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you're not already in my free cooking group, I'm you can join in. me. You're in? You're in. He's in my good. He's in my group. Good. Um, if you're not in my group, hop on over to Simply Cooking with Coach Sarah. It has been a Coach pleasure Coach showing Sarah. you how to make the biggest, healthiest Kit Kat bar. Thank you Kit so Kat much. Bar. Give me a break, give me a break. Break me off a piece of that. Kit Kat bar. All right, guys. Have an awesome day. It's been fun. We'll see ya. See ya.